What is up guys? My name is Mark Semria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog guys. We are here at Hobby Town in Dallas because I saw something on their Facebook page that I had to come check out. I'm so stoked. All right guys, here we go. I love this store. This store used to have a great selection of Tamiya's out here, but this store is massive. However, I thought this was one of the biggest hobby stores I've ever been to. But after seeing the one that they have in Arlington, I mean, these hobby towns, they're they are huge. Look, right in the front, we have the Spartan and the Sonic Wake. I don't know about the Sonic, is that one self-riding? If you have one of these, in the comments, tell me, what do you think about this thing? I really, really like boats. I think they're really fun to take camping. Uh, this one's not the self-riding one, but it is a Spartan. Uh, there's a lot there's even an upstairs we're really going to focus on the rc section today but i will kind of see and show you guys some stuff on the side i'm going to make my way back there i what i want to see is back there but i'll show you some stuff up here first they have some consignment stuff some old stampedes an old trx4 there's more stampedes up there what's up with the consignment stampedes they got stampede consignments like crazy what's that sorry i just got sidetracked by a monopoly thing Hold on, I saw something else. Oh, those look like... Uh, maybe those are like Lego types? Yeah, it looks like a different kind of Lego. But again, that's what's cool about Hobby Town is they have all different types of stuff for all different types of ages, skill levels. We have the planes back here. And then... I should have hopped over to that other aisle. We got some more of the smaller RC cars. Let's see what we got. That's cool. Ooh, some cool models. Diecast models. Check out the uh, Bugatti. Oh man, I gotta go back there. I, I gotta show you something over here that that kind of bothers me. Right here, guys. Remember when I was at Armageddon and I found out they had a DX6? Uh, they actually don't have any DX6s here, so I'm not that far behind. But they do have the DX5 Rugged and the DX5 Pros. I have a DX5 Pro. I don't ever use it, but. I really like the rugged line of Spectrum radios, but yeah, they don't have the 6 out here, but there is a 6. I'll put a link in the description to that one. I think it just released, like within the last few months. Um, I may or may not have one. Anyways, we got the Futaba. This looks like the, I don't even know what that one is. It's either a 7PX or a 10PX, a three, and then a 3PV. So again, one of the things I really like about this shop is they have a great selection of Tamiya's. So here's some cool Tamiya's up here. There's a Tamiya Porsche. There's a Subaru w WRX STI. The TTO2 R kit. Look at that. I don't, even, I don't even know what that one is. An old Yokomo. It's not even old. There's, look at that. The old Tecto EB48 2.1. Look at this thing, guys. All right. That has the Brian Kinwall body on it. Brian Kinwall was an RC racing legend. I bet you that's collectors now. I actually had one of these recently. I think I picked one up in a lot that I bought and I ended up selling it or giving it away, but that's actually really cool. It has his livery on the front in memory of Brian Kinwald. That dude was legit. And then we have some stuff here. TCRM, don't know what that is. Looks like we have some consignment buggies. Yeah, I don't even know what that brand is. We got some drift tires up here. Look at those. Very, very nice. Got a bunch of chargers, batteries. They got a good selection of batteries and chargers here. Uh, but let, let's not let's not discount all these guys up here. So, Axial Renegade, I don't have one of those. There was a big craze for those. I think it's just the body style that made it really cool. I don't know, you guys tell me, but I remember people were going crazy for that body style Jeep. We got all the different Armas. We have the Traxxas vehicles. There's the Vortex Granite. We got more Axials up there. We got a couple of base camps. We have the Rubicon Jeep. And then we have that Jeep, which is really cool. And then all the Slash vehicles. And we have more vehicles down here. Let's see if there's anything out of the norm. God, I love TRX4s, guys. They look so sick. Anything out of the norm here? Anything you guys want to see? Look at that guy. The, the Desert Buggy XL. That thing's massive. I should do a review on one of those soon. 
in the comments. I've fun fact: I've never ever driven an SCX 10.3. Never owned one. Nothing. So let me let me know, guys, in the comments if you guys think I should do an Axial SCX 10.3. Whole bunch of Armas. I love my Typhon 6S. That's the non TLR tune version. That's a cool version too, though. The big rock. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys. All right, spoiler alert. I actually won one of these at Armageddon. I won in the raffle. No, I didn't even win this one. I ran this. I won the 6S one. And I got excited. I celebrated. And then I just handed it off to a little kid. Gave a kid a $700 <laughs> RC car in the middle of the raffle. It was such. Like, the reaction on his face was so awesome. I think I have a video of it. I'll post it for you guys, but more Traxxas cars here. We got some, look, I'm telling you, these things, they're like haunting me. We see these everywhere. Never done a review on one. Interesting. Okay, we're almost to the part that we came for. Workers, very nice when, when I walked in. What's up, bud? <laughs> and then we got more, oh, look, the, the big Armas up there. Uh, man, that one's sick. The green Creighton 8S? Oh, man. I have the Outcast 8S. I have the red one. What is that? What is that guy? That's just... Oh, that's the EXB version. Ah. Oh. There. That's what I won. And I just freaking gave away. Just, ran, <laughs> just the most random giveaway of all time. Um, but that's what I wanted. Actually, I'm not going to spoil that. I'll do, I'll do a whole other vlog segment. Because I know I got footage of it. I've given that car away, but it was a it was a great a great feeling. The felony, the limitless. Um, I think it's Abby's toys keeps asking me what I would rather get between a felony and a infraction, which I don't see any fractions up here. But I would definitely choose. They're both good. I think the felony is extremely stable, but I like the infraction because it has matching tires all the way around. So it's basically tires you can rotate, and you're gonna go through tires anyway. So. The fact that you have matching ones and they're a little bit cheaper and i like the infraction body so i think you, i don't think you can go wrong with either one but i personally like the infraction better than the felony but i'll probably get a felony also all right Whew, i'm moving pretty quick x max xrt we're almost there guys i promise we'll be there in a second i just want to get all these for you look the outcast 4s love that truck i've been driving that truck a lot that's like my little workhorse right now we got the the boost, the Arma boost. Oh, look at all the, look at all the TRX 4Ms. They got TRX 4Ms galore. By the way, I'll put a link in the description to this hobby shop in case you guys want to come check it out. They got a bunch of kits, a bunch of inventory. When do they come? Do they have that? That little green one's pretty sick. I've never seen the green one before. Oh, look at these. That's another one that I kind of want to do a review on. I should pick one of those up. Okay, wait. I, I gotta. We gotta stay focused, guys. We gotta stay focused. All right. More to me is back there. We're gonna go check those out. All the cars on the top shelf here, out of the box. I don't. I don't remember seeing this body. This has got to be. This is the brushless version. I might even have that car. Man, I gotta catch up on my. My unboxings, the Slash, the Mojave 4S. I have that exact vehicle. Love that truck. The Creighton 4S. What do you think? Do I do a review on one of these? In the comments below, let me know. Oh, that rhymed. The Sledge, the Big Rock 6S. Here it is, guys. This is why we came. I had to check this thing out. Look at this thing. It has drag slicks all the way around. <laughs> look at that and then it's got a jet engine on the back like I don't think that this is obviously not functioning uh, but it's up there for display but look at this it's a hauler with drag slicks all the way around it's not just slicks on it they did something to the power system also that I will show you here in a second but look at this thing this thing is insane I kind of want to do this I wonder what they did to make this fit maybe it just fits and bolts right on but that just looks so freaking sick. All right, let's take this body off. All right, guys, you ready for this? <laughs> oh my goodness, they mounted, I think this is the 6S ESC, but I think that's the 4S motor. 
That is absolutely insane. Look how they mounted that. Sideways up on the front. The motor. It's massive. Look, that is so sick. See how he changed the uh, wire connectors there? That's because on the TRX-4s, it's reverse rotation. That's how you get it to reverse rotate. You cross one of the uh, two of the wires. He has an external BEC there. That's what that little blue piece is. Here, actually, let me put this down. So I did confirm six SESC forest motor just as we thought. They said it's the biggest gear that you can put on there. But this thing is insane <laughs> with these tires. Okay, going back to the BEC. So the reason why people run BECs is if your servo pulls a lot of amps, um, this basically powers your lights in your servo, powers your receiver, and it gives it a nice, consistent, more amp power to your receiver. That way you can power everything hooked up to your receiver. A lot of the modern day servos don't draw a lot of amps, so you don't really need this, but this does help if you're running a whole bunch of different accessories. And he's running a bunch of different accessories on this. They got the winch back there. I'm sure, it, obviously it has the lights because it comes stock with the lights, but the cool part is, is I think they're not done building this. I asked for if it was for sale. They said it was for sale, but they're actually have more plans with this thing. We are gonna check back on the progress if this thing doesn't sell. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I pick it up, but this thing, I mean, it just looks incredibly insane. Let's put this body back on. Oh my goodness, guys. I love it. I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't think of this. And I've seen, I think it was Scale Builders Guild. Someone on YouTube actually built one for speed, a TRX4 hauler, TRX6 hauler for speed. They did all different types of stuff to it. Um, I just think it looks so cool. The big old tires in the back, also in the front. I mean, it looks absolutely insane. I had to see it in person. I wanted to show you guys. So there it is. Oh man, super freaking sick. All right, let's finish up this quick tour. Uh, we got the Hoonigan Unicorn. There is the Ultimate RC Hauler. We have some other, I've never seen this guy at all, but it's, it's for sale, it's clearance sale, 224. Uh, don't know anything about it. Those are kind of cool, the Razor's a little side by side. But we got some Mini Z's. There's the FMS High Roller. I like that truck. I just I just like the style, the high looks. I think it looks so cool. Um, the Fury Wagon. That looks very similar to the car. I've given a few of those away. Check out that rally with the yellow. Looks super si Oh, man, look at that. Wait, that's, that's like a matte color. That's actually pretty cool. Bunch of electronic servos, accessories. I'll stop whenever I see something that catches my eye. I mean, all this stuff is super cool. Look at that massive ESE. Jeez. And then here's more Tamiya's. Again, they got a great Tamiya selection. Another TTO2R. Another Subaru. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think that one's rare. I think Doug is going to be mad if I don't buy that. I got to call Doug and see. Doug, if you're watching, I'm calling you now. <laughs> Not that that matters. More TTO2s. Look at the, the Super there. Lunchbox. Claude Buster. More stuff up there. And then they have slot car stuff back there. Lots of fuel, paint, low C mini bees. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. I don't want this video to be super long because there is a lot of stuff here. All the Traxxas cars up there. I am gonna go up there really quick on the top floor because I think it's cool that they have a second level and then we'll, uh, we'll end it up there. By the way, if you're in this area, check out some of these events. I've been to one of them. I missed this one because I wasn't here. I'll probably be at the second one here. Good times. Fun stuff. This place is so freaking cool. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I'm like smiles from ear to ear as I'm walking through this thing. There's just so much here. Look at that. Oh man, I'm right in front of the, this is where you, in the summer, this is where you want to be. Stand just right here in front of the AC vent. There is the car area. Oh, so it's like a bunch of, a bunch of models trains stuff like that again they got a, a wide variety of stuff but models are cool models are super cool let's quickly run through these maybe you see something you like 
Tell me what you think. More stuff back here. Tanks. Evans back there. More tanks, planes. Oh man. Trains. Yeah, they got a lot. Well, that's a wrap, guys. What's cool about this hobby town is it's really close to downtown Dallas. It's almost, it's basically in the city. A lot of cool things around here. It's kind of hard to get to during rush hour time, but it's definitely worth it. If you're ever in this area, you're ever in Dallas, come check it out. This is the hobby town Dallas off of Mockingbird Lane. But man, guys, that hauler, it's got the gears turning. Kind of want to do one. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.